this the one. Diner of the year. How does it feel to have that label coming straight from G2? Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's an honor and a privilege, of course. Like GQ is a forerunner in like men's education, men's fashion, knowledge. So um, to be nominated by them is a industry pedigree, and um, I hope I live up to it. Read GQ. <laughs> um, no, I mean, seriously, you've got to be individual, find your own style, find your own personality, and uh, I guess the biggest faux pas is like buying the wrong size, so I'd suggest buying the right, buying the right size, finding something that fits you, which is normally a size smaller than you normally wear. Um, and as I said, being individual and, you know, like modeling yourself after icons like Milo here. Hardly, so. hardly. I'm just, the funny thing is, I'm just a fan. <laughs> Had been a fan, then became friends, and now it's like, oh, okay, I get very nice suits and things to wear and be a part of the group. He looks out for you, right? He absolutely does. He does. It's a revolving door. <laughs> yes. Now, you are in great company side. Of course, Jeff Bridges is being honored as Icon of the Year. Do you have a favorite Jeff Bridges film, The Dune? I mean, without sounding iconic and cliche, yeah, I mean, that's, it, it goes down in, like, history. So, Big Lebowski's a, an iconic, huge film, so, uh, yeah, it has to be the favorite, for sure. I'm going to go back to Starman. Remember Starman? He was an alien, he came, uh, came down to Earth, and he plucked some hair, yeah, yeah, plucked yeah. a piece of hair from a fo yeah. uh, photo book, and then he became that guy. I don't know. I, I think that's probably one of my favorites. Now, Twitter is also getting a lot of recognition this year. The hashtag is the symbol of the year. Do you guys tweet? What's, what are some of your favorite things to tweet about, trending topics and things like that? I do. I do. I, I think for me it's uh, owning your name in the digital space, which is becoming apparently so much more uh, uh, significant and important. Uh, and I think the things that I like to let people know about are more the social issues, social con consciousness, responsibility, things like that, as opposed to what I'd had for breakfast, because that's pretty mundane and ridiculous. Um, but I think there is a, a responsibility that people that do tweet or have a, a significant digital presence that they can reach many, many thousands of people. And I don't know, I think, I think it's important. It's something cool to, uh, to try and uh, uh, contribute to. I might be a fighter pilot right now. I almost went into the Navy when I was 18, and I didn't because I was going to be a pilot. And I, I think that. I can see you as a fighter pilot. Yeah, right? Yeah. Some kind of Top Gun, yeah. Maverick thing. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, something maybe. Yeah. What about you? Not as cool. <laughs> not as necessarily. Not as, as fast Maverick, Top Gun. But um, maybe an architect. Architect or car designer. Something still conceptual. Like, mm -hmm. um, I'd love to be a... I don't know if this term exists, like a horizon architect, change like the landscape a little bit. So be a little bit kind of eco and green, of course, at the same time. So I don't know, but like it, it kind of relates back to the clothes, very architectural and very tailored and sculptural. So. Well, congratulations on the honor. Thank you very much.